Okay, so I'm going to go into the printers, devices, printers and scanners, then I'm going to drop down to the 51 series and hit manage. So this is the new, this is Windows 10 Pro. Um, we're going to go into preferences and then this is the standard printer preferences that we'll talk about in a second, but I want to talk about the mag encoding real quick while we've got this opportunity. So our mag encoding is pretty cool. So you've got um, general mag encoding um, options. So number one, if you have an encoder, you want to click do encoding, obviously. Um, if you don't have an encoder installed, this will be grayed out so it knows there's an encoder installed. You can set the, the HICO, um, you can set the cosivity to either HICO, LOCO, or specific uh, SP, which means that we can um, actually give a range of the cosivity. And then also there's auto. Um, so if a customer is one of those customers that can't seem to keep track of whether they're using a LOCO or a HICO card, you can put it in auto mode, and then the printer will run the card back and forth until it figures out if it's high or low co. In most cases we don't recommend this because it does take some additional time um, to encode the card because the printer has to figure out what cosivity it is first. So in this case we're going to go for high co and then the nice thing about our driver is we've got this magnetic encoding option. Um, so the first thing you'd want to do in normal situations the encoder um, is installed on the bottom, so in the normal card location. But you can change it to the top or the upper encode. So if you have that Costco style card and you have a top side encoder, you change that to top side mag encoding. And then the nice thing again is that the one of probably one of the most confusing things or most difficult things to get set up in mag encoding is the start commands. Um, we call them markers. And that will designate where the beginning of the first, second, or third track is and where the end of the first, second, or third track is. So what we can do here is we can um, designate the um, start or end markers to whatever we want. So if you're uninstalling a data card machine or a NISCA machine, you can just change our markers to look for NISCA and data cards markers. So you just match up the markers to what your legacy machine is and you're ready to go. You don't have to change your all of your templates. You don't have to change your application software to match our driver. You can make our driver match the application software. So this is pretty cool. So let me jump back into the